Oinke Moose in Fallbrook and we're gonna try the Lambkinator Burger Challenge. It's named after Eric Lambkin who was the second person to finish this. Uh, one other person did it but whoever finishes it gets to name it so he named it a Lambkinator. It's huge. Yeah, I, I saw pictures of it and it's huge and I am really nervous but you know let's go head on inside and let's see because they are super excited to have you here they're already really friendly and yeah let's go Hi. so this is actually our first time meeting which is cool like us us maybe oh yeah so yeah. what's your name my name is Reina Reina and I'm AJ so what brings you here today Miss Reina I just love food challenges and this one seems like a pretty tough one and I've been trying to push myself to do more and more so I want to see if I'm able to do it because only two people have done this one right Correct, correct. And um, what got you into food eating? Uh, you know what, all throughout my life I like ate a lot and I thought it was like normal to like one of my co-workers like oh my god you eat so much you should go try a food challenge and then I did and I did really well so and then people like have a fascination for people eating a lot apparently so it was fun to make videos and you know having people um, getting a good laugh off my videos and yeah. Awesome. It's been really fun. Awesome. And how did you hear about Point and Moo? Like, how did you hear about our challenge? Um, I go on a website called foodchallenges.com and you guys are actually listed on there. Yeah, it just took me a while to have the opportunity to come over here because you aren't really open, uh, like, you know, you're not open too much. Yeah, mostly in the afternoon, which dinner is... Dinner hours. Dinner hours, yeah. Perfect. So where are you from? I am from Walnut. It took me about two hours to get here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, crazy. And tell me about your in and out experience <laughs> with the 50 what was it, 50 by 50? 50 by 50. Wow. Wow. How long did it take you to do? That was about 35 minutes. Really? It was tough because um, I'm used to like veggies and stuff and that was just straight meat and it got really salty and it was not pleasant to finish the whole thing but I did it and then yeah that was fun to set a world record there with Food Beast. Awesome and coming into this challenge here at Oinkimu, how are you feeling? Game day, what's going through your head? Uh, for a challenge I'm always nervous and this one seems really big. I don't know if it's because it's stacked with the veggies and you just gotta like floof it up or I don't know how much actual food there is or it's just big food but either way it's huge and I am really nervous and scared. <laughs> okay well there you have it folks thanks for checking in Reina it was a pleasure good you luck too. to you thank you so much we'll check in with you guys later all right it's gonna be at this table designated yeah. challenge table right here <laughs> I'm so nervous all right let me go film okay. Ooh, okay. Here we start